Around 60% of US households have a pet. This is normally something common like a cat or a dog. And some people have more interesting pets like snakes or reptiles. But nothing compares to these people who have some terrifying pets. From a mutant, half-human, half-lamb. From a two-headed snake to a mutant, half-human, half-lamb. Lynx. If you haven't heard of a lynx before, it's basically a medium-sized wild cat. These are not allowed as pets in most countries. But 11-year-old Svetlana Nikolchkin in Russia has a pet lynx. Her pet lynx is named Zen. In most countries, these are illegal to have as pets because they're quite dangerous. They're very aggressive and hunt all kinds of animals. Zen the lynx weighs about 66 pounds. But how did he come to be a pet in this small Russian household? Well, he was maltreated in the Russian traveling circus. That was until he was saved by Svetlana's family. Eventually, their small apartment was too small for this lynx. So they actually had to move to a larger house just to accommodate their new pet. Svetlana actually bottle-fed Zen for many years. And over time, this dangerous predator was domesticated. Zen and Svetlana now even sleep in the same bed. Grizzly Bear this is yet another bizarre pet from Russia. Most of the time when you see a grizzly bear, you'd want to run away. But this Russian family have a 7 foot tall grizzly bear named Stefan as a pet. The couple, Yuril and Svetlana, bought the bear a few years ago. Right now, Stepan is 23 years old. They've lived happily for years on the outskirts of Moscow. They say they've never felt afraid and have never been bitten by their bear. Stepan relies on a diet of vegetables, eggs, and fish. The family of the couple and the bear live a picturesque life. Amazingly, every mealtime they eat together at the kitchen table. This has produced images like this, which many assumed were photoshopped. But no, they really do eat with this 200 kilogram beast. Stepan the bear enjoys many things us humans do. This includes watching TV and playing with balls. Lion. Lions are one of the most fierce and dangerous animals in the world. So you may assume that no one has one as a pet. But one billionaire from the United Arab Emirates proved everyone wrong. Humayid al Bukesh actually has a lion as a pet. His mansion is equipped with a full zoo. This includes chimpanzees, flamingos, and also one 400 pound lion. The billionaire has racked up over 1 million followers on Instagram. He shows off his pet lion, sometimes standing on very expensive cars. I just hope he's legally allowed to own this. Right now in the United Arab Emirates, there's a big problem with people having illegal exotic animals. Right now, the authorities are confiscating hundreds of these animals per year. Also, I'm surprised he's not worried about the lion scratching his cars up. One of these white lions that Humaid has can sell for over $60,000. It seems he truly does have a love for animals. But I just hope he's actually taking care of them and not just flexing on Instagram. Two-Headed Snake in 2018, a woman from Louisiana named Tani Janzu found something bizarre in her backyard. She was used to seeing snakes around her area, but for the first time ever, she'd seen a two-headed snake. Thankfully, Tani works as a wildlife educator. This meant she knew exactly how to care for this mutated animal. The snake is mutated because an embryo did not divide fully. This caused the snake to have two brains, but only one is working. Thankfully, the two-headed reptile is harmless. And ever since then, Tani and her daughter Katie have looked after this two-headed snake. They've actually named the two different heads. One is called Gumbo and the other is called Filet. Tani says some people do get scared when they see the snake. She says people can barely believe what they're seeing. But she also says that the snake is so small it fits right in her hand that she sees it as cute. I'm not sure what to make of this, do you think it's scary or cute? I have to say it would be pretty cool to show everyone you've got a two-headed snake. Human Lamb In the village of Kircher in Russia, something bizarre was born one day. This was a lamb which appeared to have the features of a human being. The lamb's head has the eyes, nose, and mouth of a human being. The only thing sheep-like was the lamb's ears. Some said this may be a hybrid between a human and a lamb. There was a theory that a human may have actually impregnated this lamb. But so far we don't have any proof of this. It's more likely this lamb is simply mutated somehow. The owner of the lamb, Blastius Lavrontier, was stunned when he saw what had happened. He said when he went to see how the birth was going, he nearly fainted. 
To be honest, I really don't blame him. Alligator. Florida is famous for alligators, but it's not often you actually see people having these as pets. Well, Mary Thorne is an exception to this. She lives in rural Florida with her six foot long alligator named Rambo. The alligator weighs 200 pounds, but Rambo is pretty amazing. He's totally domesticated and lives with Mary at her home. He also rides quad bikes and motorcycles. It's quite mysterious how Mary acquired Rambo. She used to work at a wrestling club. One day, someone left behind a box at the club. Inside were five newborn alligators. Mary tried to save all five, but only one survived as they were badly malnourished. Mary had a legal permit for Rambo, but when Rambo grew over six feet, he was actually confiscated back in 2016. But thankfully, Mary was able to win Rambo back. Wolves. Wolves can be very dangerous and ferocious in the wild, but for one German man, wolves are his best friends. Werner Frond actually owns various wolves. He lived with a massive pack of wolves for 40 years before he passed on in 2014. He bought 25 acres of land to put these wolves on, and over the years he had over 70 of these wolves. To make sure they knew he was the alpha, he would actually eat with them. He would also sometimes wrestle with the wolves. In the US, a few adventurous people have timber wolves as pets. These can be walked on gigantic leads, but it's not recommended you get one of these wolves unless you really know what you're doing. Tiger It's no secret rich people love to have bizarre pets. And one of those people is boxer Floyd Mayweather. He was inspired by fellow boxer Muhammad Ali, who used to own a tiger. But it seems that while the boxer may be in full control in the ring, he's not with his tigers. In 2017, a video of him went viral struggling to control his tigers. This was inside a luxury hotel room. In the past 20 years, pet tigers have taken over 20 lives. That's quite a lot seeing as almost no one has pet tigers. It's also thought that it costs around $200,000 a year to look after a pet tiger. But seeing as Floyd Mayweather's net worth is nearly $300 million, I'm sure he can afford it. We normally think of dogs as less intelligent than humans, but sometimes it's dogs which can do the things that humans can't. Dogs have special abilities, for example, a heightened sense of smell, and they also have a great sense of direction. Sometimes these things work to save humans' lives, and in many cases, dogs' bravery has been caught on camera for us to witness. So here are some canines who saved the lives of their owners. Police Helper On the 4th of April 2010, a fire broke out at the workshop of Ben Heinrich. He was doing some maintenance on his truck. That's when his truck caught fire and this spread to his workshop. His house, which was right next to the workshop, was in danger of being caught in the fire. And Ben was actually trapped in the workshop in the fire. Thankfully, his neighbors saw the flames and called 911. That's when state trooper Terence Shanigan began driving to the property. But there was one problem. Ben's property was located in the remote Alaskan back roads. This is an area where GPSs sometimes don't work very well. State trooper Shanigan's GPS device gave out as he was driving there. He was about to make a wrong turn, but that's when he saw something out of the corner of his eye. The shadow he saw was Buddy. This was Ben's German Shepherd. State Trooper Shanigan said that he soon realized that Buddy wasn't running from him, but leading him. He realized that both him and the dog were thinking on the same page for that brief moment. Buddy led the State Trooper straight to the property, and thankfully the police and fire brigade were able to keep Ben and his family home safe. Car Crash one day, Charles Bailey was driving through New Waterford, Nova Scotia, Canada. But that's when all of a sudden his drive took a turn for the worst. He blacked out at the wheel, causing his truck to collide with a telephone pole. His car then flipped over several times down a hill. It came to a stop in the middle of a snowy woods, way out of sight of any passing traffic. Charles spent the next 10 hours in his vehicle unconscious. There was no trace of his vehicle going off the road, and there was no one anywhere around coming to help. 
However, when Charles finally came to, he found himself in a hospital bed. But why is this? Well, it's all thanks to his dog, Dallas, who was riding with him. Dallas was with him during the car crash, but he was not hurt. Dallas stayed by Charles' side, keeping him warm during the snowy night. This prevented some of Charles' limbs from getting frostbite. Dallas was also the only reason Charles was ever rescued. He ran up the hill away from the woods, back onto the main road. A car then stopped, and Dallas led that driver to Charles. An ambulance was then called, all thanks to Dallas. If it wasn't for Dallas, Charles would have sat there for days or even weeks, freezing. And it's almost a certainty he would have lost his life. It turned out that Charles had suffered from a brain hemorrhage, which is why he blacked out. He also sustained some frostbite to his arms and legs. But thanks to his hero dog, Dallas, he escaped with his life. Snake vs. Dog One day in Sacramento, USA, Bryson Holloway was playing in his backyard. Bryson was only 18 months old, but his mom and dad were sitting on the back porch watching him play. Their dog Shyla then jumped up right near to Bryson. For a moment, Bryson's parents were terrified that their dog was going for their son. They didn't realize it at the time, but in reality, Shyla was protecting Bryson from a copperhead snake. Shyla grabbed the snake with his mouth and then jumped back. Shyla was bitten on the neck by the snake. His neck swelled up so much that his collar had to be removed. But thankfully, he was okay. However, if the snake bit 18-month-old Bryson, he could have passed away. His mother, Alicia Holloway, said if it wasn't for their dog, then she doesn't think her son would still be on this planet. After all, they live very far from any hospital. Robber Stopper In 2020, Ludwig de Jager was taking some money out of a bank. He had just withdrawn his entire month's salary. But what the 58-year-old South African man did not realize was he was being followed. Some robbers saw him withdrawing the large amount of money. He was stopped by the two robbers outside the gates of his home. But that's when one of his family members opened up his home's gate. That's when his two dogs, Nikki and Dwewell, rushed out and overpowered the robbers. Thankfully, the man and his dogs were okay. He also managed to keep the money that he withdrew, which was around $2,000. But right now, cops are still trying to track down the robbers. Dog Duo This one took place in Chennai, India. One day, a girl named Suni Smith was coming out of a hostel. But waiting outside was her colleague, Ragunith. Ragunith had a sharp blade and tried to take her life. But thankfully, two street dogs outside a hostel saved Sushi's life. They did this by jumping on and scaring off her colleague. Ragunith was later arrested by the police. And the entire incident was caught on CCTV. Poison Dog Rowene and Chris Ando are advocates for pit bulls in New York. And they even own a therapy pit bull named Ruby. Ruby was a rescue dog, so they helped her out by adopting her. But when they adopted her, they never realized that Ruby would repay them in a major way. One night, for seemingly no reason, Ruby began barking for nearly an hour and a half. She was normally a pretty quiet, well-trained dog, so the couple knew something was seriously wrong. They tried to find a reason as to why Ruby was barking. And that's when, after some time, they noticed the smell of propane in the air. It turned out that their newly installed propane heater in their basement was not well installed. The couple was able to escape their house before any carbon monoxide poisoning could occur. And it's all thanks to Ruby's amazing sense of smell and intuition. Carbon monoxide is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. This makes it very dangerous, and it's very common for people to pass away after breathing too much in. But dogs have a heightened sense of smell, so they can smell it while humans can't. Police Dog One day in Leiden, UK, there was an incident with two police. There was a criminal with a sharp blade trying to injure the police. But that's when police dog Anya got involved. Anya jumped up on the man and disarmed him. The police involved said that if Anya wasn't there, they likely would have lost their lives. Inhaler Dog one day, Rebecca Brooks from the UK began experiencing some very severe asthma. But while she was coughing and gasping for breath, her dog Jess sensed danger. Her dog then ran into Rebecca's room and grabbed her inhaler for her. 
Rebecca used it and was fine. She was amazed and was wondering if it was simply a coincidence. So she placed her inhaler in a different room. She then began coughing again to see what Jess would do. Amazingly, once again, her dog ran, grabbed her inhaler and brought it right to her. It just shows what we don't know about dogs and how they may be a lot smarter than we think. Bear vs Dog In 2018, Tiffany Merrill from North Carolina, USA went out on a walk. She took her poodle, named Pickle, with her. But that's when all of a sudden a gigantic bear came out of nowhere. The bear was 200 pounds and Tiffany feared for her life. But that's when her poodle, Pickle, was able to distract the bear. Tiffany and Pickle then made a run for it and got back in their house. Sadly, the bear caught up with Pickle and she did not make it. But the poodle's brave actions saved her owner, Tiffany. It just goes to show that dogs really are a man's best friend. Everyone wants to make sure they're safe and protected at all times. You may think the best way to do this is to have your very own army, but some of these dogs are better than an entire army. These canines are some of the scariest animals in the world. They are known to be hyper protective. Some have even been banned in many countries around the world, but they are all super strong and powerful. Doggo Argentino Doggo Argentinos are large, white, muscular breeds of dog. They were first developed in Argentina for big game hunting. They would be used to help humans hunt things like wild boar. But eventually, because they displayed such bravery and willingness to protect their human companion, they became guard dogs too. If not trained well, they can be very vicious. This has led to them being made illegal in the Cayman Islands, Denmark, Norway, Fiji, Iceland, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Turkey, Ukraine, and in the UK. Doggo Argentinos have also been used for hunting pumas in the wild. They also have incredible stamina, meaning they can run for long distances. They're also very heavy, weighing around 100 pounds, meaning they can take down some humans. They also have a bite force of 500 PSI. Tibetan Mastiff Tibetan Mastiffs are the perfect guard dog. For one, they are said to be the strongest breed of dog in the world. These were found all the way back during the Xing Dynasty in China. They were used as warrior dogs by the Chinese and Europeans too. Their bodies are incredibly muscular, but this is masked by their massive amount of black and brown fur. They're fairly heavy, weighing in at around 150 pounds. Their bite force is 556 PSI. They're often used as guard dogs. But only the richest people use these as guard dogs. That's because Tibetan Mastiffs are very expensive. The average price of one is $5,000. But if you want a rare red Tibetan Mastiff, this can set you back $1.5 million. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies are very protective and powerful. They're known for their great stamina and endurance. Some people have a whole pack of Siberian Huskies to protect their home and family. They're often very friendly and loyal to their humans. They have a thick coat of white fur and blue or black colored eyes. They weigh around 60 pounds, which is lighter than some other dogs on this list. But they make up for it with their immense speed. They are easily able to chase down humans and animals who are a threat to their owner. They have a bite force of 320 PSI. Pitbull. Pitbulls can be very dangerous, but some people train them from a young age and they make for great guard dogs. They're incredibly strong and powerful. Sometimes pitbulls can get super muscular. They are also sometimes used in weight pulling competitions. Pitbulls weigh around 70 pounds, and they also have a bite force of 237 PSI. The largest pitbull in the world weighs 174 pounds and its name is Hulk. They also used to be a mascot for the US Army. This was during World War I and II. That's because they symbolized bravery, loyalty, and determination. And some pit bulls even served in those wars. Pit bulls are so strong and agile, they can actually climb up walls. The highest a pit bull has ever climbed is 12 feet. They are found in almost every country in the world. And they're not only used as guard dogs, but search and rescue dogs too. Doberman 
Dobermans are one of the most famous and most protective guard dogs in the world. They were first bred for tax collectors. That's because tax collectors used to travel with bags of money through dangerous parts of town in the late hours. So they bred Dobermans to protect them. Later on, Dobermans were used by police and night guards too. There is no job too big for a Doberman. That's because they're very strong and intelligent too. They are used for many jobs, such as police work, scent tracking, coursing, diving, search and rescue, and guiding the blind. The US Army also used these dogs in World War II. Kangol The Kangol is mainly found in Turkey, and it's one of the most popular guard dogs in the entire country. It has a fairly large head and body and very sharp teeth. They can be used to protect children as well. They can weigh up to 150 pounds, making them very heavy for a dog. Their muscular mouth makes their bite force one of the highest in the world. That is 745 PSI. Kangles can sometimes be used to protect herds of animals. If they sense danger, they will strike, even without orders from their owner. They're also used as watchdogs at construction sites. Many farmers in Turkey use these to protect their livestock from wolves. But wolves have a bite force of 1200 PSI. That's why Kangles are often equipped with a spiked collar to protect them from wolf's bites. Irish Wolfhound Irish Wolfhounds are one of the strongest and most powerful breeds in the world. They are also the tallest dog breed in the world, and one of the fastest. They're fantastic guard dogs as they're very muscular. They're also very intelligent and can detect danger and predators. They're also used to hunt wild boar, deers, and wolves. They can weigh up to 100 pounds. And they're also known for their immense bravery. Their bite force is around 450 PSI. Rottweiler Rottweilers are very famous, powerful dogs. Their body is very muscular. Rottweilers were used in the First and Second World Wars, and are even direct descendants of Roman battle dogs. Rottweilers are sometimes used in weight-pulling competitions, and their bite force is around 330 PSI. Rhodesian Ridgeback This incredibly strong dog breed is most common in Russia. They are used by hunters a lot, but also as personal guard dogs as well. But they're also used as personal guard dogs too. They're very fast and can be used for racing. They are famous for their stamina, making them great guard dogs. Their bite force is nearly 230 PSI. All of these dogs are very powerful and can be fierce. But with the right training, they can be very safe around humans and even kids. Also, many of these dogs are very intelligent as well as being strong. This means that if they're trained well, they can be great protectors of humans, while at the same time never injuring or scaring their owners. Many cartoons have interesting animals and creatures in them, but you may assume that these only live on the screen and are not found in real life. Well, it turns out some of the most bizarre and surprising creatures in cartoons actually exist in real life from Pokemon monsters that you can find on Earth, to unlikely cartoon animal friendships that are found in the real world. Dialga Dialga can be found in the Pokemon world. They are featured in the cartoons and also the video games. They're very powerful, one of the first legendary Pokemon. It doesn't look like something that could exist in real life. It has blue and white striped armor, and it also has a spiky winged structure. But in real life, this Pokemon is a sea slug, specifically Glaucus Atlanticus. This amazing sea slug closely resembles Dialga, and it's believed the artists took inspiration from this animal while making the Pokemon. Atlanticuses are very unique. To travel around in the sea, they lie upside down. They then use the surface tension to get around. Although Atlanticuses look small, they're actually predators to some pretty scary animals. For example, they mainly feed on Mano War jellyfish. These are some of the scariest and most dangerous jellyfish to humans. They're normally found in the Caribbean on beaches. So who knows, maybe on your next vacation you'll see a legendary Pokemon in real life. Muck 
Mercs are one of the most famous types of poison Pokemon. Mercs are made of purple sludge, and they're a very big, sticky Pokemon. You may assume nothing this bizarre looking could exist in real life. Well, that's where the blobfish comes in. Blobfishes are very rare to find in the real world. That's because they live deep at the bottom of the ocean. Mercs are less rare in Pokemon. However, in some games, such as in Pokemon Go, they are quite hard to find. The real name for blobfish is Cyclutes marcidus. It's been called the ugliest animal in the world. Some people who see it don't even believe it's a real animal at first because it looks so strange. It has beady eyes, a frowny face, and seemingly a very large nose. Scooby-Doo If you saw this one in real life, you would probably do a double take. Ever since it premiered in 1969, Scooby-Doo has been many people's favourite cartoon dog. Scooby-Doo's breed is a Great Dane. These are very loyal and large dogs, just like how he is in the cartoon. But take a look at this specific photo of a Great Dane. As you can see, the dog is almost a picture-perfect copy of Scooby. It has the same collar and same markings too. And to complete the image, his owner even dressed up like Shaggy from the cartoon. The only difference between Scooby-Doo and Great Danes in real life is how much Scooby gets scared. Scooby is often scared of ghosts and monsters they encounter in the cartoon. But in real life, Great Danes are very courageous and would protect their owners at all costs. Mewtwo Mewtwo is a very famous and powerful Pokemon. It's pretty obvious that Mewtwo's resemble some kind of cat, but which? Well, the Mewtwo was designed around one very bizarre looking cat. This is known as the Hairless Sphinx Cat. These have no fur, very long legs, and very pointy ears. They also have very beady eyes and no whiskers. Sphinx Cat's odd look puts some people off buying them but they can be very lovable and many people actually enjoy owning these cats. Much like Mewtwo's, sometimes Sphinx cats only walk on their two back legs. That's because these legs are normally much larger than their front legs. Also, Sphinx cats can sometimes be aggressive, just like Mewtwo's in Pokemon. Sizer Sizer is a very powerful bug steel type Pokemon. It has wings and a metallic exoskeleton. Some believe it looks like some kind of lobster bug hybrid. But sizes were actually inspired by devil flower mantises. These insects look very complex and also scary. They have the same hard shell exoskeleton body just like the sizer does. Devil's flower mantises are the largest species of praying mantis in the world. Much like in the cartoon, this insect mimics a flower. They also have very powerful claws that they use to grip onto things. Timon and Pumbaa Timon and Pumbaa are many people's favourite characters from The Lion King. It's pretty obvious what these animals are, because all of the animals in The Lion King exist in real life. Timon is a wise cracking meerkat, while Pumbaa is a gluttonous warthog. You may expect that these two species would never be friends in real life. After all, warthogs prey on other mammals. And you may assume that in real life, Pumbaa would eat Timon. But check out this image of a meerkat and a warthog recreating Timon and Pumbaa's exact pose. Believe it or not, sometimes meerkats will hop onto the backs of warthogs to get across rivers. That's because warthogs are much faster and better swimmers. I assume something like this does not happen very often, but when it does, it's pretty cool. Charmander Charmanders are many people's favourite Pokemon. After all, they're a starter Pokemon, and many kids pick them to play as when they first get Pokemon. But did you know that this cute and very loved Pokemon exists in real life? Charmanders are based on the Eastern Newt. This small orange lizard is very similar to Charmander in many ways. Sadly, it can't shoot flames out of its tail like Charmander, and it doesn't have any amazing battle abilities. But this animal was the basis for the fiery lizard we all know and love. Comment down below what the first Pokemon you ever played as was. Kirby The Kirby series of video games is one of the most popular in the whole world. In it, you play as a small pink creature named Kirby. Kirby is pretty featureless. It's a pink blob with two stubby arms, two red feet, and two big eyes. You may assume that this does not exist in real life. 
But a few years back, this image was released of a marine animal. It's not exactly known what this animal is but it seems to resemble Kirby in a very significant way. Some believe this could be a mutation of another animal. But although this image is very famous, its species has not yet been confirmed. Pink Panther The first Pink Panther film debuted in 1963. The Pink Panther is a valiant cat with pink fur. Now in real life, panthers with pink fur do not exist. But in 2014, one Reddit user said that they saw a real life Pink Panther while on vacation. As you can see, this cat has bright pink fur. In the cartoon, the Pink Panther is not actually a panther nor a cat. It's actually a cougar. But I think this discovery of a pink cat is the closest we're gonna find. Mudkip Mudkips are a very popular Pokemon, but did you know they're based off the Axolotl? This is also known as the Mexican Salamander or Mexican Walking Fish. These are not fish, but amphibians from Mexico. It's crazy how similar the Mudkip and Axolotl are in terms of their looks. Krogunk Krogunk is a dark blue poisonous Pokemon. It also has expandable pouches on its cheeks. Its real-life counterpart is the Poison Dart Frog. This is one of the most toxic animals to humans in the world. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most amazing cartoon animal that exists in real life. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.